Yo YouTube, today's video we're using my favorite topic. We're talking about cutting lanes in Respawn, how we can be aggressive as a player and overall how we can improve our gameplay. Sit back, relax, and let's break it down. So right now we're in sub base. And I'm not gonna lie, we're starting off with a really, really good clip here. You see we're absolutely fry in the lobby. We take out three immediately. I see my teammates spawning behind me, right? So let's turn around. They're gonna be spawning P5 and these scenarios, you need to keep them in the blender. You need to get them trapped and get these kills. So gonna go through, I spot one, right? Obviously gonna do a little bit of snaking there on the right. We're gonna use our equipment just to keep that cover now this player has a very low chance of killing me in this spot because of the way i'm playing we go for we take out one immediately am i right if there's only one player there there has to be more players either going through you know p1 server or just doing something else so i'm just going to check it so i don't get flanked really good read we slide counter we take out the second and now straight away i can spot the third on my right you see on tunnel i see the red dot okay cool that means there's a third there so the, oh, that's not even, a, I thought that was a third person. It's actually a cruise missile. But anyways, we go through and I'm expecting the rest of them to be either through tunnel or the right. Now I can't really pick up tunnel from here and leave the right. So I'm going to pick up the right and let my teammates play tunnel. We reposition, different angle, another kill. There's a third. Every time we get a kill, we're repositioning. Now we get the cruise. Once again, another reposition. We take out the fourth. We go through and we get the kill. So now I'm going to go through and now I'm on. Takes us nicely over to Rio now. Now we're on Rio. We're once again in a spot where we're pushing through. You see my teammates are on the left, so I'm going through the right. We take out one, let's pinch again. We take out the second. Okay, now three are down. I know they're spawning on the right hand side. So we're gonna go through. My teammates are gonna take out one. And now I'm at the spot again where I'm like, okay, they're gonna be coming through the right. So we push through, we take out the fourth. And now I'm looking at the mini map and what's missing right now. Well, the left's kind of missing, but more importantly, the right's missing. No one's really picking that up. So I'm gonna go through, make sure no one's kind of flanking. We slide counter across. We take out another player again, just making sure all angles are covered and we're really cutting the lanes, which once again, takes us over to P3 on Rio. Now this one is the most important one whenever i'm coaching a subscriber they never push out the lane here for some reason you want to push this area i really like this spot although it's obvious i feel like it's just the best spot because you can see i'm catching them in the sprint so we take out one now i know immediately there should be someone on the right going for the trade so i'm going to get aggressive so they don't get aggressive against me you see we jump around the corner really lucky timing here really good timing he's chucking a grenade but we only made that timing because we chucked the net so because we got aggressive so we go through we get another kill now let's go through into invasion again cutting the lane set well my teammates on the right they should be going towards a i'm just going to play a deeper angle here i know they're going to be spawning right in front of me so this angle here lets me watch over so you see i'm going to watch over i don't see anyone let's just watch the right for a second and look at the kill feed there's two down there's one on my right so we're going to go through we're going to take that player out there's a third one once again cut the lane so you see we're watching this area we spawn trap them and there you go we go through my teammates gonna jump on the hill and i'm gonna watch over them from the truck just really good play as we take it nicely into sub base we take up one going through we actually kind of fried in this clip so there's a second the third to my left we control the gunfight there good kill immediately where they're gonna spawn i want you guys to think right now where they're gonna spawn well if my teammates coming through tunnel and my teammates through p1 logically they should be spawning on my right by p2 so i'm just going to watch the cut so straight away you see we go for the reload going to use the natural cover watch the cut i'm getting shot from the top again just backing away trying to use the mini map i know they're going to come through this cut we see one really good reflex is there to chuck the grenade back we spam our equipment and we're just trying to cut the lane make sure no one flanks us okay no one's there let's go back to the cut and you could just see once you know the spawns it's so easy to manipulate them and just get those extra kills and again sub base i feel like i'm frying on this map today that's a third time uh, we're on p3 right now again keeping them trapped at p2 that's my goal here just really really effective stuff there we get another kill we get another two pushing through into the Vista here. On Vista, we're going to go through. We take up the first player. Second player, we know he's trapped there, so let's get that kill. And in terms of cutting lanes, right, it's all about these moments here. When you have the advantage, you have the setup. So right now, I don't want this player to play his life because he's going to be buying time for his team. So as soon as he over -chows, I get that kill. I now know, okay, I got a three piece. That means the fourth player is probably spawned up and he's probably going to push towards the hill. I don't think he's going to expect if I push him. So as I'm going around, I'm slide counting around and you can see it works out perfectly. I catch him while he's sprinting. We go through, we get the kill. Takes us nicely again to the same map just later on in the game. And once again, just trying to cut those lanes here. We take out the first player. The hill's kind of in the middle. So all I'm trying to do is push them back. I'm trying to keep them trapped in their spawn. So we get another player, we kill him. We're gonna to go towards the corner here. And I'm just trying to play my life in a corner. You see, we go through the thirds there, not over chal anything. And again, we're just trying to catch them while they're sprinting. That's the goal here, catch them like this. This is the perfect example. They're not expecting the gunfight. We take them out, we go through, that's the third. The fourth's on our left, we take him out as well. Perfect stuff, we go through, we get 
We get another kill, but you know, the trade goes in. Now we're on Rio. We're on Rio. My teammates are behind me, so I'm going to push out. Most of the time, people in this scenario back off and get on the hill, but you want to keep the map pressure. You want someone spawning up to sit on the hill instead. So we take out one, we take out the second, and you can see, although we don't have the hill right now, that three piece, he just bought us time to set up and get the rest of the hill. It's not about the immediate five seconds. It's about setting up for the rest of the 45, 50. And there you go. We get another one with the help of our teammates. We turn around. We're once again watching that lane pushed up the map. Going through again. Let's see what we do here. Same thing, same hill. Instead of sitting back, sitting on the hill, I'm going to push up. Again, you see, we get the kill pushed up, and that's what it's about, pushing up and getting those kills. We get another one, we use our equipment. And honestly, right now, I'm just trying to get as many kills as possible, just distract them, slow them down. And this is what I do best in terms of my gameplay. I feel like cutting the lanes is like my biggest strength. So hopefully you guys can learn from it in this gameplay. We go through again, really good shots here with a pistol. And I don't even need to kill them. As long as I can keep them trapped at the back, I've done a really good job. We go through, and yeah, I feel like right now, this is, this is perfect, exactly what I'm looking for. We take out one. I know they're still going to spawn there because I don't think it's flipped just yet. So we're going to check it. Going to cut their lanes. There's another one. Jump across. I mean, the game's over now. But again, just great movement. We get a two. We spawn trap the third. And just really, really effective stuff here. Going over to six star. So where are my team? My team are on the right. They have the hill on the left. So I'm expecting them to push the left here. Most of the time, again, people sit reserved here. You want to push out. You want to keep these guys trapped. And look at this. They didn't really expect this. So we take out one. The second's there. We use our equipment. Go through. Get a two-piece. Now, once we get the two-piece, I'm going to reposition. And once again, you know, get the third. And then just watch that same angle. So now I've got a three-piece. I'm going to watch this same angle, but from a further pushed-out position. Let's go through. Let's see what we can do here. Invasion control, we take out one. Again, just cutting those lanes. I, I kind of made a separate video on this, I think, yesterday. But right now, again, we go through, we get the second, and we're just doing a really good job of just catching them when they don't expect it. We're basically flanking them, cutting those lanes, and overall just putting so much map pressure on them that they can't really focus on the objective because they've got a slayer, essentially, on the other team going through, just getting those kills. So when you do this role well, I have to say it's the most impactful role in the game. But it's just about learning your timings. And as the year's gone on, I've gone a lot better at it. At the start you always struggle with your timings and that's what makes smg players so valuable but also so difficult because you have to perfect your timing youtube you guys know the draw drop a like on the video and i'll catch you guys for another one tomorrow peace